Okay, so I just wanted to make a quick video about Photoshop and their new neural filters. Now, if you haven't heard of these, you haven't seen them, and you are a subscriber and use Photoshop, the latest version 2021, I think you're gonna like these. They're very, very cool. They will come in extremely handy. So I'm gonna quickly show you two examples of how these work. Now, some of them are already active. You can download them and use them. Some are in beta and some are on a wait list. So I'll show you very quickly two of these really cool features. So let's just take this first here, this thing here. I use this as a template for my websites and it's a blank image of image size 1880 by 580. So it goes along the top of my websites along the banner. Now I've got a picture I want to put in here and fill this but it's not big enough and I'm doing a, an article on GoPro and how their stock figures fell back in I think it was 2015 and if you look at this image it's only 1036 by 338 so if I try and click and drag this into here you can see it's nowhere near the right size I'm going to do Control alt 0 to get 100% so we're now at 100% so what I want to do is make this bigger so that it fits in there so if I do Control T and then I drag this to the edges to the size I want. I don't want it to be full on size, but let's get that central. Okay, that's dead center. I think that should be okay. Click okay and do control or zero to make sure it's up there. And you can see by increasing the size, we've, in, we've added some of these little anom anomalies, especially around lettering, it's a real pain. So can you see here, we've got all these kind of jaggies, all these bits of uh, digital anomalies if you like and it kind of doesn't look good because the colors are all bad and it just looks pretty crap. So what I'm going to do is go into filter and you can see here we've got the new neural filters tab. So we hit that and it brings up all the filters. Now some are already there, you have to download them. So you download each filter you want um, and then you've got all these others here. I won't go into these. We're going to go into the JPEG artifacts removal here. Uh, we're going to do one other in a second. And then if we click on waitlist, you can see some of the waitlist uh, waitlist items that are coming up, and they look pretty phenomenal. So if I show you face cleanup, you can see that it gets rid of the glasses, fills in all the details. Absolutely fantastic. There's loads of others. So I'm going to let you discover this yourself. Um, upgrade your Photoshop, update it and then check them out yourself because they're amazing. But let's go back to JPEG artifacts removal. So remember, we've got all these jaggies here we don't like. So if I click that on, you've got three choices, high, medium or low. Let's go with high for now. And you can see instantly they've all gone. So I'm going to zoom right in and then I'm going to click before and after. And you can see the difference it's made. It's phenomenal. This will really help my work. Look at this down here, all these letters. Click it back on and it's got rid of pretty much all of them, which is fantastic. So that has now made this. Let's go click OK, and then let's do Control Alt 0 to get to 100%. So you can see there what a difference it's made. Let's go back, and you can see, if I zoom in, see the difference it's made before and after. It's amazing. So that is really gonna help my work with that. And then if I wanted to, what I can do is actually go to the filter Go to Unsharp Mask, Sharpen Unsharp Mask, and what I can do is add sharpness to that to those lettering now. So I can just click OK. I normally use a radius of 0.7, and then I just adjust the sharpness to, to, to whatever level I like, so let's just do that. And now I've got a photo that has been improved, and it doesn't look bad because all the jaggies have gone, and I've increased the size without any causing any digital kind of jaggies or anything. Now, there's one other I want to show you, which is really cool. So this is one of my photos from way back when I lived in Spain, uh, well over a decade ago, and it's where the flashlights didn't go off and I converted it to black and white, loved it. They bought a big canvas print from it. So let's say with this one, I want to increase the size again because this at the moment, you're gonna like these. There's two, two things I'm gonna do here. So the size is 700 by 1050, do control or zero and it's okay. Um, but I'm gonna increase the size because I wanna print it again, but this is the only copy I've got. So I'm gonna double the size. 1400 to there so we've got a much bigger print now but I've got introduced a few of those anomalies again you can see them here in the hairline and everything let's stay on the hairline so let's go back to filter neural filters and we're going to do the same again and again you can use either the low quality medium or high I'm going to just stick with the high quality on here 
and there we go it's got rid of a lot of those let's do before and after it's smoothed the skin you can see all the detail in the hair the jaggies the hair doesn't look very natural so by doing that it's actually made it look a bit more normal a bit more usable um, let's do before and after with there you can see it just takes the, the jaggies out of the hair up here and does a really good job of that and also around the eyes it's got rid of that some of those uh, anomalies and things so you can do it again with portraits you can make them bigger and again I'm gonna click OK on this and I'll show you something if I go to do the filter again unsharp mask you can see here all these dots that's all the jaggies that's all the work it's done to take out those anomalies all the digital artifacts and you can see it's done a, a really good job and very quickly as well so you can see all of that work it's done now I don't want to sharpen that over this so what I'm going to do is click OK flatten the image and then I can go in and sharpen now using the unsharp mask again 0.7 pixels and then just sharpen it up a bit um, and then click OK and you can see now we've got a pretty good image but the next thing so again I think you'll appreciate that this could be really really useful if you're increasing the size of photos or you've got some j uh, jaggies or whatever this will get rid of them instantly now this next one is very very cool if you've got a ton of black and white photos whether they're old family shots or whether you've got like this maybe I've lost the color version uh, and I want to colorize it again I go to neural filters and you've got this colorized one here so let's click that on and see what happens look at that how cool is that let's click OK so what basically Photoshop are doing is taking all of the data they've got from millions and millions of photos that have gone through their system and they've obviously made these algorithms that will work out what's in the photo of face recognition it'll add skin tones lip color eye color hair color and I can tell you from the original photo this isn't far off the original colors that is superb so again if you've got tons of old photos and I've done this on some of my really old family photos in fact I'm gonna find one now and show you so here we go here's a, a picture of my dear old granddad long departed but um, I'm gonna show you how we can colorize this so if we go to filter neural filters and then colorize simply click on colorize now I'm getting a warning there so it says please update your image color mode from grayscale to RGB so let's cancel that let's go up to image mode put in RGB you'll have to double check that every time then we go filter neural filters and then colorize this photo must be so old and there we go so it's worked out it probably was a gray top but it's had a little bit of lip color great skin tones hair color background looks absolutely fantastic that would be good enough for most people I think but look at this next one this is my granddad again there and that's my mother my auntie and my uncle let's go and go to mode and put it into RGB then we we'll go to the filter neural filters and colorize it again and voila that is fantastic it knows that this is wood it's made it brown you can see the skin tones clothes colors it hasn't just made them all the same color don't know how it does this but that is awesome one click it, I just I'm baffled <laughs> I think it's absolutely superb now once you've got the colors there you've got all these options here to actually make minor adjustments so you can play with that to your heart's content to get the colors you exactly want click OK and then you've got a color photo then you can just crop and everything from there so you can just crop it out and you've got a cool photo so I hope that really helps um, if you have got Photoshop download the latest version go and play with these neural filters because they're mind-blowing they're absolutely fantastic I can guarantee you'll be going through a load of old photos and making them a hell of a lot better so thanks for watching um, remember to subscribe like thumbs up share do whatever you need to do and we'll see you on the next video